Today, we are going to study about the national income. Now, national income, basically, if you actually look at a country like India, when we say national income, what it means is the income which is produced within the territory of India. So if you see, this is the map. So if you are sitting anywhere in India, there's this place, this place, this place, this place. And you are producing any of the goods or services, right? And you're producing income. Then that is going to be included in the national income. But in addition to this, what you also include in income is something which is called the net factor income. And I'll come back to you in terms of what this means. Right? Now, if I look at the definition, when, when I say net factor income, what will happen is that let's say some people are stated outside India. Okay? We normally call them non-residents. Okay, if these people are actually earning some income from India, that is reduced from the national income. But if these people are making some payments to people in India for some services, that is included in the national income. And when we actually take the difference between the payments and the receipt that is actually added to the value of the goods and services produced in a country, to arrive at the national income. Now well, let me show that to you. What does it mean? National income is the sum total of money value of all final goods and services produced in a country. So when we talk about the goods and services, we're talking about the final goods and services, not the semi-processed. Okay? When we take the money value of all the goods and services produced within domestic territory of a country, so when we say for India, we are going to look at what falls within the domestic territory of India. We will not include anything which is including in China or in Bangladesh or any other place. Only the domestic territory of India. In an accounting year. Now, it has to be a concept. It has to be for a particular period. And therefore, it has to be taken in an accounting year. So you see, what is the value of final goods and services produced within a domestic territory, let's say India, in an accounting year? Plus, you include net factor income from abroad. Okay? Now, what does net factor income from abroad means? Let's look at this. So you calculate the value of all the final value of goods and services produced in a country. Let's call this as A. Right? And to that, you add net factor income from abroad. Now, let's see what does the net factor income from abroad means. Net factor income. Okay, first, let's look at what does factor income mean. Income are the rewards received by the owners of factor of productions. Now, we know there are four factor of production which are there, right? Which is land, labor, capital, and entrepreneur. Right? So what we do is, for each of these factors of production, we know there is a cost. The labor gets compensated in the form of employee compensation. Land, whosoever owns the land charges rent for it, right? Capital, if I lend you my capital, I will give you interest. And entrepreneur gets the profit. So what I do here is very simple. I consider who are the residents of India. Okay? Residents of India. If they receive any of these four payments, that is added to the national income. And why it should not be, right? If I am living in India, okay, I am living somewhere over here, anywhere over here, I receive some money from a person, from Indian perspective, it's an income. So I add it down to my national income. So can I put it at receipt for factor income, receipt or factor income. And then what I do is, like I said, if I'm a resident over here and I make a payment, okay, when I make a payment, what happens? Payment for what? Payment for any of these four items. Payment for the use of factor of production. That is going to reduce my income just like an individual. There's no difference. I mean, we are dealing over here 
in a country, but it's just like an individual. Payments for factor income. When you do a sum total of all this, you get national income. Right? That's how simple it is. Just take the value of all the goods and services produced in a country in a year. To that, add whatever are the receipts made by the residents of a country for allowing the use of factors of production from outside people and reduce the payments made by the people of a country for the use of factor of production to overseas people. And you will get the national income. I hope this is clear with you. Thank you for being with us today.